Hello, I welcome you back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn the theories of learning that will be in sight learning. <coughs> so what is this theory about and who developed it? The theory of insight learning is also known as Gastel theory of learning. Wertheimer, Kofka, and Kohler, they are the Gastel psychologists. The word Gastel in German means whole configuration, pattern, or form. The Gastel psychologists believe that whole is greater than parts. They also believe that you may do not experience things in isolated pieces, but in meaningful, intact configuration. So now to understand more clearly, let us briefly look into the experiment behind the theory. So one of the Gastel psychologists named Kohler, he conducted several experiments on chimpanzee named Sultan. Sultan was put inside a cage and would be presented with a problem that is not easy to solve, such as placing food in an area that is too high to reach. Kohler would also place a box or sticks inside a cage to observe Sultan and the existence of insights. For instance, in one of the experiments, Kohler hung banana from the roof of the cage of such a height that Sultan could not reach it even by jumping upwards. A box was also placed inside the cage after many attempts Sultan seemed to contemplate for some time, and suddenly Sultan used the box as a platform to reach the banana. Kohler argued that it was not because of trial and error method for solving the problem, but a sudden insight after contemplating. Now let us see what is learning by insight or insight learning. Insight learning is a sudden grasping or understanding of the solution to a problem. It is eureka or it is aha moment. It is not as a result of trial and error or responding to stimulus. It is a cognitive experience to visualize a problem, think and get inside or find solution to solve a problem. Now in a very simple way, let us see the steps involved in insight learning. The first is we perceive the problem or we perceive the situation. Then we try to attempt by trial and error and after failing we contemplate or think and then we get sudden insight and we try to apply that insight and solve the problem. Coming to the four laws of learning, the first is law of similarity, the second is law of continuity, third law of proximity and law of closure. So the first law is the law of similarity. According to this law, similar ideas and experience get associated, which means an individual grasped in which are similar. For example, seeing an actor in a movie and remembering one of your classmates back in college days because of their similar looks. Coming to the second law, that is the law of continuity. According to this law, objects are learned with ease that have continuity because they easily make a whole. For example, when I say baby, you easily think of milk. Or when I say ink, you easily think of pen. Coming to number three, law of proximity. This law states that proximate or near things are picked up first and learn easily than distant things. For example, we easily pick up melody of a piano piece rather than a possession of single notes. Next, we have law of closure. According to this law, we prefer complete words to incomplete words. This tendency allows us to perceive whole objects from incomplete or imperfect form. Now let us see the factors influencing insight learning. Number one, we have experience. Our past experiences helps in insightful solution to problems. Number two, intelligence. The more intelligent an individual is, the greater his insight. Three, learning situation. Favorable situation open ways for insightful solution to a problem. Four is initial efforts. Insightful goes through trial and error after which insightful learning occurs, then repetition and generalization. After solving the problem of a solution, the learner repeats the insightful solution or idea to another problem. So what are the education implications? Number one, learning situation should be presented in gastel form or whole form. Two, a subject should not be isolated but integrated with other subjects. Three, emphasis to be given on students' mental abilities and the importance of understanding the concept instead of rote memory. Now let us compare the two theories, that is trial and error learning theory and insight learning theory. Number one, learning is a connection between stimulus and response. Learning is a connection of experience and mental abilities. Number two, practice is the basis of learning. Insight is the basis of learning. Number three, learning under reinforcement is the key concept. Perception is the key concept of learning. Number four, parts are fundamental. Whole is primary. Number five, most suited for habit formation. Number 
five, on the other hand, most suited for concept learning and problem solving. So that is it for Insight Learning. Thank you so much for watching.